Welcome back. Today we are opening Booster 7, uh, Faded Rivalry. Uh, this is the uh, seventh set in the uh, main series. Uh, the tagline is Ephemeral Twins Shadow Arrival Faint Illusion. Uh, and this set introduces ISA's twin cousins uh, Sakura and Gachio. Uh, which are apparently these two on the box, uh, box art. Um, so Sakura is the one affiliated with the White World, so I'm assuming this one. And uh, Yachio is associated with the Black World, which is kind of neat because ISA is also associated with the Black World, so she has one cousin uh, on her team and the other not so much uh, in terms of uh, actual world pairings uh, that typically doesn't matter for these uh, main characters as they sort of work together uh, it probably does matter for the card game itself um, but uh, not 100 percent sure on that uh, and this set includes special blue worlds protagonist cards signed by yui ogura which is uh, azumi and uh, sumire usaka which is uh, reya uh, so Another two uh, signature cards. Uh, I did look at the prices really quick. Again, everything's pretty inexpensive uh, in this set as well. Um, the uh, that signed Azumi card is by far the most expensive. It's around thirty-five hundred yen uh, on Yuyute. Uh, let's see here. Special privileges. So it looks like we got our sticker back. The last one might have just not had a sticker on it, or they had extra stuff left over after the original print so then uh, they tossed in the uh, deck separator um, so should we, we should be getting one of those we should get our like points card uh, and we should get a uh, random player card uh, there's six different kinds we got Rhea, uh, Misaki, uh, Yamato, Soma, Sakura and Yachio so it'd be pretty cool to get one of the uh, the new twins here um, just because I don't think they were uh, in any of the previous sets though they do kind of look familiar. I don't know if that uh, maybe they were in previous sets, but they weren't really named as uh, ISA's cousins. Not entirely sure, but uh, we'll find out. So I can show the uh, the side of the box here. Um, not sure. I think we've seen all these characters already, and then oddly enough, we don't have uh, any character artworks on the back for the side. We will certainly see if we're in for any sort of uh, surprises. So there's got to be a ton of those dividers. Uh, if there's like, was it five different types? Six, six different types in this one. I can't remember if it was five or six in the last one. Oh, we got a uh, sneak peek of the promo card there. We did get one of the twins. Really neat. So here on this side, we have uh, stuff that's upside down and right side up. We'll look through it real quick. Some uh, crazy artwork going on there. A little booty, booty shot. We have a robot. We have uh, some sort of uh, bow deer girl. Very uh, scantily dressed some other characters here so this looks like it's just showing us some uh, combos and or uh, maneuvers that can be used in the game um, maybe something to like tease cards to make people want to uh, open more in order to uh, to get the cards they need to, to pull that off we have our points card here whoa these packs are a little more wild than we're used to in terms of uh, color uh, and shine so here we go. Uh, what did we say her name was? Uh, with the uh, she's part of the uh, the white world. So this would be Sakura. Pretty cool. P07. So it's nice that the uh, the promos kind of line up with the uh, the sets. So like P07 would go with B07. Um, so I think that's probably how I'm uh, going to organize. Uh, my binders, I'll probably put the uh, the booster sets, and then there's lots of space 
towards the end. We got a robot divider here. I think we've seen him before, so he might be uh, part of the uh, the main cast again. Like sort of like a heavy, sort of heavy but uh, sturdy plastic kind of uh, divider for um, keeping your cards separated if you had them in a box. Stick this in here. Or I guess if you had separate decks, you could separate the decks by uh, dividers, and then especially cool if the uh, divider matched the uh, the type of deck that it actually was. So okay, let's get these way up at the top here, so we have lots of space for our hits, our hit section. Give this a little chop. Still haven't uh, become brave. Maybe the next pack will try to do the the rip. Oh, pretty cool. So we have uh, Fierte. We got all the main characters on the uh, the front here. This is uh, it's actually an advertisement for the uh, the anime, so it must have been coming out in around this time, which is pretty cool. Cool to see all the uh, the main characters there. I don't know if there's an actual set uh, that revolves around the anime itself, but that'd be pretty cool. It could be like retelling the story of what has happened up until that point too. So uh, we'll have to see. Hopefully they come up with more. We have a, a witch type girl right off the start um, with some uh, big boobies. Uh, another one of these angel mechs looking more and more like a uh, diva as we progress. A blue soldier. Man, these skeletons are always doing the most odd things. So I guess he's eating. Uh, I don't know what he's eating exactly, but uh, he's just having a, a bowl of, uh, of something. I thought maybe ramen, but it doesn't look like it's ramen. Uh, and a shitose, pretty cool, uncommon. And then it's got all kinds of scenes, I guess, in the background. Almost like a comic book. So maybe that was like scenes outside of the, uh, or from the, the manga, which would be kind of neat as a background. And we have ch we've changed the foiling again. This is almost like uh, Pokemon is done in like black and white or Sword and Shield, where it has like the lines, except they're kind of going in both directions. All kinds of crazy things going on when you tilt this card. Very neat. So they didn't uh, they didn't disappoint. They're still continuing on with the changing of the the foils. I don't know if at some point they uh, they decide that they have run out of options and. Uh, stick with something uh, something more standard because <laughs> I can't imagine unless they have some ability to uh, to change them out we have our advertisement or other advertisement so that one there just looks like an advertisement for the website uh, still has the main cast on there we have kitty cats all over uh, construction equipment very transformers oh we have uh, I don't remember her name. I want to say it's like Jealousy or something like that. Which I mean. There's probably reasons why people would be uh, jealous. We have like a tavern of sorts. Cool. So we have uh, what looks like a couple different uh, battle dresses. This is an event. So maybe it's one battle dress and then the other girl. Looks like she has an instrument, so she might be one of the uh, mermaids, perhaps. Interesting scene. I don't know uh, exactly what's going on. It looks like... I don't know if she's like handing something over. Maybe some sort of... Uh, something to do with the event. Here we go. We have another rare. The crazy foiling. Not sure who that character is. And we have a cat girl in the woods as a first secret rare okay we got a different uh, hollow pattern here with some bigger kind of pinwheel things um, certainly some uh, some interesting hard work on that one next pack so oh so that we've seen I think we've seen that robot uh, I don't know actually what his name is but I guess that's him too. So we got the divider for Rhea's 
cx. Um, I'd probably have a better idea of the naming if uh, he was part of the anime, but I don't think he was in Ignition. I don't think he even made like a cameo. He might have been in the background or something somewhere, and I just didn't notice because I didn't know who he was yet. But we have uh, Dark Girl. Well, this one doesn't have anything uh, blocking her face, which is sort of an interesting choice. You have the uh, boobies popping out at the bottom. Transformers. Oh, this one here. We got, it seems like more of a like pub theme going on. Uh, an uncommon. I'm not sure exactly what's going on here. This is like freezing him. It's an event, so it, it must be some sort of like trap or freeze card. And then on the end, we have a really crazy ram. Man, that foiling is. I don't think I've seen anything like that. Which is, seems to be the case every time we open another set. Slice. Oh, I said I was going to uh, to try the rip technique the rip technique on the next one see if we can get uh, really good at it um, not get made fun of too much in the comments we have a guy with a sword a guy in the woods reading so it seems like the uh, the green cards or the green world is heavy on the reading libraries tea uh, sort of sophisticated and uh, plants so we're starting to see like some trends here we have a giant worm um, anything that's uh, in the black world is, just seems to be evil of some sort. Not necessarily anything to it. We got another uh, angel mech. A, uh, I don't know what you want to call him. He's like a, a boar, but also made of stone. Like maybe a topaz boar. I'm sure that has something to do with it. The different types of stone. We have a girl with uh, pigtails. Oh, she's uh, another one of those, like, she's like part doll. They're like joints that you can see there. It's interesting. So I don't know if that's like an archetype that you can actually build a deck around. And then we have Rhea's uh, robot. And I guess we can uh, look up his name at some point. Try to learn what that is, since it's, uh, I'm sure it's a reoccurring thing where he's, uh, he's one of the main characters. Um, so... I'm sure. I'm sure we'll see him and his uh, ZX quite a bit. Uh, papers over here. This is uh, interesting. We have a cat person eating an apple, or maybe a monkey. Not quite sure. Uh, here we go. <laughs> is that the? Uh, the OK sign from the uh, from the skeleton there. Not sure what he's doing <laughs> exactly. Uh, an angel warrior. We have a skeleton, a much more serious and uh, dark-looking skeleton. Uh, another forest creature. I don't know. She's casting some sort of spell. It's an event, so it could be uh, something along those lines. Oh, cool. Um, not sure who this character is. Maybe like a battle dress of some kind. Um, but extremely nice artwork. Foiling is still catching me off guard a little bit. Oh, and we have a hollow version of the uh, the cat party. Not sure exactly what they're doing. It looks like some sort of like cat daycare. Which seems to be like the uh, every time there's a cat. Uh, picture with a bunch of cats. It seems like some sort of uh, kitty cat child care facility. So that might be part of the story that I just haven't uh, read about yet. There we go. Another angelic uh, warrior of sorts or prince type looking guy. Here's a blue like a statue come to life. <laughs> I don't know how he's uh, usually the uh, the animals in the uh, red faction are a little bit more aggressive than this guy. Oh, uh, I don't know his name, but uh, he's one of the uh, the main characters as well. This is an event, so I'm assuming that's his uh, his ZX. I don't know if she's like telling him a secret or something like that. 
or how that would affect uh, gameplay. Really interesting art. Oh, uh, there's Rhea, and uh, it looks like there's then an. I don't know if you just want to battle against the uh, Oracalcum Tyranno in the background there. He's got like the uh, squirrely eyes. Looks like he just beat up on him with his uh, robot. Here's a uh, vampire of sorts. And on the end, we have a. I don't know, that's like part badger, part snake. Quite the uh, quite the beast compared to our our last red uh, ZX with, that was a little bit uh, tame and cute. Oh, let's try let's try a rip. See if we can uh, do this without uh, taking too long. I guess if we uh, if we rip down the side and then we rip the top off, not too bad. We'll try that. We'll get uh, we'll get really good. Uh, there's it's certainly a lot different than uh, opening what would be like a North American style booster pack, like a Pokemon card pack. We have a girl with a chalice. Oh, cool! So we have a uh, Triceratops that's made out of I don't know if it's always every time it's red it's like Oracalcum, um, and if the other colors are associated with gems or they're associated with the. Uh, I don't know if Oracalcum is an actual real thing. So like, maybe he's Topaz or something. Oh, whoa. All right, we got another uh, rare here. Uh, that's the uh, that same girl with the crazy sword and the uh, the wrap around her uh, boobs. Very cool. And then on the end here, we have, uh, we've seen her already. I'm not sure exactly who she is, but uh, yeah, that's the common hollow version of that. I really like how I think that some of the common hollows are some of the uh, amongst the nicest, just especially the ones that are like really discreet foiling. So you still get the uh, the main part of the artwork, but uh, because of like shining sort of accent pieces, the dogs grumbling over there on the other side of the room. So here we go, we got Sarah, who's getting a, a head pat, I guess. Um, and then maybe, I don't know if she's like jealous or, or what's going on. Uh, Mizaki and I'm not sure who she is. It's uh, quite, the, uh, quite the image there. Oh, wait, what? Is this... Are they fighting each other? They're, they're supposed to be uh, partners, but uh, for some reason they seem to be uh, fighting with each other. Interesting. It's an event, so it might be like some kind of mind control or, or something like that that uh, makes the enemy player attack, attack themselves. I guess that's uh, one way to make sense of it. We have a little cat that looks like he's carving something. It says EX is not an event, so I don't know what he's uh, what he's carving exactly. It looks like he has a little chisel type thing there. Whoa, we have a uh, another bow angel here. I don't know if it's the foiling that's making it hard to focus. And we have a secret rare on the end here. So there is a, a little guy. Let's see if we can reset this to the point that it wants to focus. If we can get him. I don't know why it's acting out. Huh? If we can get it to focus on our guy that's in there in the Mac certainly uh, an interesting card go over to the right a little bit further since we have space there I don't know if that uh, event is like Sarah getting consoled after uh, Rhea seemed to knock out the uh, Oracalcum Tyranno Ignition advertisement. Here we go again with the 
big booby witch. We have uh, that diva esque angel mech. Uh, another warrior. There's our uh, Rhea beating up on uh, Orakalkum Tyranno. Uh, vampire guy. Whoa. Okay, we got like a uh, like a bunny rabbit with a magical unicorn horn. Yeah, I think the camera has a hard time focusing on that. <laughs> and then we have a foil version of the uh, girl that's casting something. Kind of neat that the uh, the font or the uh, symbol that there's she's casting is in foil as well. It's just an uncommon, uncommon foil, but we'll take it. So hopefully we have that uh, Azumi sign card in here somewhere. That would be cool to find. I don't think um, I don't think we pulled an IGR or uh, what is it? UCR? Uh, CVR, sorry, CVR or an IGR yet. So I would assume that those are quite rare, um, especially those signed cards. I don't know. There might be like one per case or something. And then I don't know with these older ones how many actually come in a case. I'm sure that's uh, something that you could look up. We have a girl inside. It's almost like, almost looks like bumblebee kind of themed, but I don't think it is. Oh, like flower, angelic, mech. Oh, this one's pretty cool. So we have uh, an angel. It's an event. Angel fighting against. Uh, Aise, who's uh, out for vengeance for parents that were killed by angels. Um, really hard to get that out of the focus. Let's see if we can zoom it right in. There we go. Cool. Be interesting to see that one in the uh, the alternate foil. Would look really cool because it would probably uh, leave the the artwork exposed without the foiling on it, and then have a background sort of like this one. It's another uncommon foil card. It'd be interesting to know how those are seated. I mean, it doesn't really matter because it's not like we're uh, opening a ton of product. Uh, probably just the uh, the one box of each will be ooh, good enough. Oh, here we go. We got Alexander on the front. I'm starting to uh, recognize characters. Um, hopefully even those that are okay we got like a chameleon sticking his tongue out there uh, he's made with some kind of uh, stone or jewel or gem and we have a rare uh, this guy in the forest I'm not sure what uh, what his name is or I'm assuming that he's AZX though those are most of the forest type characters or, uh, at least the ones with branches coming out of their head would be the uh, the actual ZX and not the uh, the partner to the ZX. So here we go, the chalice girl. I don't know if there's like a magic card with the girl with the chalice that uh, it's kind of reminding me of. Ooh, I like that one. All kinds of people in the background here. I don't know. Um, that seems to be like an ongoing theme or something in here. A uh, little sad armadillo. Oh, whoa. Okay. We have a uh, girl with a mech suit of sorts here. I don't think that's the same one that, uh, that we saw before. Pretty crazy. Like um, when the hair is completely unrealistic. Oh, we got a secret rare on the end here, too. You can always kind of tell. It's kind of nice that the uh, the big hits are at the end. Um, and I'm not sure who she is. It looks kind of like Pierre, but it's red. Some of them they have such uh, similarities, and I don't know if that's could be on purpose, could be not. We will have to look it up. 
We'll learn someday. Um, all the names and characters. Maybe we'll have to do like an extra study session before uh, doing like the the binder videos once they're once they're completed. Here we go. We got like the uh, Colosseum Guardian, the lion guy that we keep forgetting to look up. I think that's the lion guy. No, I think maybe the lion guy that we're thinking of is the red type. So I don't know. He has like a dog. Maybe he's a dog guy. And a rare on the end here. The, uh, this is the special foiling. It's almost like a plaid that shifts as you tilt the card. Very interesting. The uh, the fruit fruit girl. I keep saying that I'm going to not use the scissors and I use the scissors. It's a crutch. Convince ourselves that we don't need it. A surprised angel there. So she's dropping some books. I don't know what that reminds me of. Something. Oh, he's got like some kind of gauntlet on. It looks like it's uh, putting quite the uh, toll on his arm. He's got like veins sticking out there. Like a musketeer of sorts. Another one of our uh, angel guardians here. That's an event of some sort. Seems like we got lots of event cards in this set. We're back at the tavern. And here we just have a rare. It looks like a skeleton uh, samurai of some sort. Pretty neat. So we gotta really hope that that. Uh, Azumi sign card. We gotta get a sign card eventually, right? Be nice to uh, to pull at least one. Not a big deal if we don't get them, but uh, be cool to to pull at least one from a pack. I thought that was the same card twice, just because of the uh, the left side of it kind of looked similar. Oh whoa, we have a. Uh, she's got like the uh, tag. I don't know. I think that has something to do with like ghosts. Ghost tag. Interesting artwork. I like that. It's like almost uh, shiny. The way that the uh, shading is done. Oh, whoa. Okay. We got a uh, rare here. Interesting artwork. She's got like a shield and what I assume is like a cut off sword on the other side. And sparks coming from the background. It's like fighting in a volcano or something. Oh, and here we go. We got an IGR. And I forget his name. So, uh, this guy that we saw earlier. Let's look him up. He is... Uh, Soma. Very cool. So we did it. We got an IGR. It's not the CVR that we were kind of, uh, looking for. And then, uh... Not the, there was the two, the, the twins, um, Sakura and uh, Yechio. That would have been nice to get in an IGR. Um, Sakura's a little bit more on the expensive side at uh, 1,480 yen. So it would have been nice to get her, but not a big deal. Oh, here he is again. Um, so Soma, and uh, assuming that's his uh, ZX there on the left, telling him a secret. And that looks like... I don't know if that's the same girl. It might be. Different outfit for sure. Our bull skeleton. Here we go, we got a rare rodent of some kind. I'm not sure exactly what type of rodent he is, but it looks like he's eating gems. So, fitting in with that uh, precious gem type uh, animal uh, theme that's going going on. We have a secret rare here. Very nice. Crazy foiling. And uh, 
that looks like um, I can't remember his name, but he's also one of the uh, one of the main characters. Uh, these related is it uh, Yamato? Yamato's ZX, I think. Feel free to uh, let me know if I'm wrong about that in the, uh, in the comments. There we go, some more advertisements for the anime that I've watched before I own the cards. Self promotion. Gotta love it. Um, the anime is really, really good. Oh, wow. We got some, uh, some wild stuff going on there. That's an event as well, so I don't know if that's also something that's like turn on your. I don't think it looks kind of like his ZX, but it's not. It might be a different, uh, different character. Uh, so I think that's one of the twins. Sakura. I really like this. Uh, there's some of these like. Angel Mech artworks that are just really, really good. I prefer the ones where it's kind of zoomed in, even though you can't tell what's going on with the uh, the background. And then here's our girl that was in that event card. Uh, I don't know what you would call that, like an electric cello or something. All right, last few packs here. Let's uh, let's rip the last few. For practice, and then maybe I'll hide the scissors on myself for the next one, or at least have them far enough away that I'm not uh, instinctively grabbing them. Oh no, no bags, doggos! No bags. Here we go. There's our event. Ori, hey, cool it. No. Gonna, gonna do some gardening and uh, kicking her legs up. Ori, 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 chill, chill. No, not 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 a very good guard dog. You're barking at nothing. There's a uh, my mom's dog is upstairs and uh, is not barking, so there's definitely no one here. She just uh, heard something that she didn't like. I don't have a quick mute on my microphone either. Just unfortunate. Definitely, we got Alexander again doing something crazy. Um, here we go again with the uh, some sort of event, which looks a little bit sinister. It's a green card too. I don't know what's going on there. I'm sure the uh, text would explain. Oh, here we go. We got the uh, Shitose again. Very cool. We got like a window frame there. We got the little um, kangaroo elk thing. Oh, another cat with a gun. Like we saw in the last one. And then this one is a cat reporter. Rare on the end. Getting all the, uh, it's like mafia times cats. All right. We're probably missing some of like the uncommons and commons. In, uh, in reality here. So here we go. We have our promotion. We have our raccoon in a, it's almost like he's in a pot or something. A chastity pot. Our head pat. Our, I don't know, she's like passed out or something. Cool. Um, I don't think. I don't think we've seen this one yet, and kind of hard to even see what's going on there. It's like the the anime girl that's in the mech, sort of uh, looking back. It's very neat. We have a, an uncommon, and then on the end we have uh, just a rare. So we didn't. Uh, I don't think we got. We got an IGR, but we didn't get a gold secret rare. Maybe, so maybe we're not guaranteed one of those. Or maybe the fact that we got the IGR kind of cancels that out. It's hard to say. Um, I'm sure someone someone can uh, can let us know, uh, or we'll figure it out eventually. Maybe once we get through enough, 
<laughs> enough of these boxes. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, you guys take care, and I'll see you in the next one.